There are advantages and disadvantages to the modern day cleaning techniques used by most riflemen today. Um, the biggest advantage of all is that modern cleaning techniques preserve the barrel life. Okay, They do not destroy the rifling in the rifle. Uh, the disadvantage is that it's harder to carry in the field because you need a really long cleaning rod, much like the one I have here in the back. Uh, that cleaning rod has to be as long as the barrel and the action, and then some a little bit more. So today I'm going to show you how to use the cleaning kit that comes with your Mosin Nagant. Uh, the advantages of it are that it's very easy to carry in the field for a survival situation. And the biggest thing is, is that if you use the cleaning kit that comes with your Mosin Nagant properly, you will have minimal wear on the barrel. So let's talk about what you need, what, you, what needs to be carried. Now, a lot of people get these. They're great, but they're always square and they're not they're not ideal. Um, I highly recommend CLP and Windex or some sort of dish detergent if you're cleaning for corrosive ammunition because corrosive ammunition is really corrosive. A couple things that come with the included cleaning kit there are five components every single one of them should be used every last one if you're not using one of these you're doing it wrong you can actually carry everything you need in one of the pouches that comes with most most of the guns um, your oil can um, you can keep your Windex on one side and your oil on the other and then of course you can keep the cleaning kit that comes with it no, this has never been open obviously on the other side along with a bunch of patches and I'll show you now how your patches should look um, you can make them out of old white t-shirts uh, which is they're great because you can rewash them in the river or whatever and use them several times uh, whereas a lot of other patches that come to, you know for modern day kits you can only use them once alright with your cleaning patches they must be twice as long as your jag reason being is that the jag is larger than the diameter of the cleaning rod and this jag if left unconcealed and unprotected by your cleaning rag will scrape against the rifling in your barrel and destroy the rifling over time so keep your cleaning patch twice as long as the actual jag and narrow enough so that it will actually fit down the bore of course alright let's start at the top end. Now some people actually use this as their jag and they stick a cleaning rag through here and they shove this end down the barrel which is completely the wrong way to do it. You're doing it totally backwards. Um, these parts basically line up over the holes and then this slides through here like so and basically this just gives you your leverage that you can like hold on to and push the rod in and out. Um, Next, on the other end, this is the threaded end that goes into the stock. <clears throat> this is your bore guide, okay? This is very, very important. Basically what it does is it protects the rifling at the end of the muzzle by keeping the cleaning rod centered and so that it doesn't scrape against the rifling. It's smaller than your bore and will only fit over the body of your cleaning rod. It goes on open end facing that way like so. Next we have the actual jag which simply threads on like so. And then our multi-tool we use the largest slot in it to lock onto the jag grabbing of course this end and then we tighten it down okay so that way it doesn't come off. So we have the multi-tool center stage here. Let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, it actually has one, two, three, four different uses. Okay. Um, this large hole right here basically fits over your actual bayonet, and it gives you extra leverage to turn your bayonet on and off your rifle. Uh, this large slot, of course, you just saw us use it to tighten up our jag. And then you have your three notches here 
to check for fire and pin protrusion. And then lastly, you have your actual slotted type screwdriver tip for disassembling your rifle. Now again, the beauty of this technique is that it's fairly easy to do out in the woods or in the field. All right, You can place the butt of your rifle right in between your feet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place our cleaning rag at center, right over the bore, and then jag end right down the barrel, keeping, making sure that the cleaning rag completely covers the jag all the way in. Now, once we get to this point where the cleaning rag is just barely visible, we slide our bore guide right over the top, top of the barrel, and we're going to hold it there, like so. Keep this in place. You're going to push the cleaning rod all the way down until it stops. At this point, the jag will be just protruding out of the chamber just a little bit. It won't be enough so that the actual patch will drop off the jag. You know, it's just long enough for that, and that's partly what this is for. Now we're going to grab it again and pull it back out the opposite direction until we feel the jag <clears throat> hit our board guide, and then the rest of it comes out like so. All right, now to give you a little word about surplus here in cleaning. Uh, last time I shot this rifle, I put five rounds of surplus through it. And then after that, I put 10 patches with Windex and then 20 patches using CLP, which, according to Accurate Shooter, is one of the better ones out there. Even after that, when I came back a week later and put another patch through this rifle, and this is, keep in mind, I saturated the bore with oil when I put it in storage. When I pushed a clean patch through it again just to check it, there was still a little bit of brown on that cleaning patch. Um, that's just how corrosive corrosive ammo is. So your cleaning routine needs to be really, really thorough. And you need to come back two days after you clean your rifle and you need to check it again just to make sure you didn't miss anything. Because if you've got a very pitted bore, which this one isn't too bad. Um, this one's actually almost new. But if you've got a very pitted bore, that mercury is going to sit in all those little microscopic holes and it will just eat away like a cavity.